Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we are going to have a look at Cardano and the Mary Hard Fork which has just occurred or is occurring at the moment. We don't have an official update from the Cardano community. This is the last post we have here. The Mary Hard Fork will soon be live on the hashtag Cardano mainnet. Find all the answers here. We're going to have to take a look at that today as well. So if you like the sound of that, hit the like button down below. Let's see if we can get this Cardano video up to 2000 likes. If you're new to the channel, subscribe as per usual and the bell notification icon if you're new here. All right, guys, let's have a look at the Google Trends. Ethereum, Cardano, Ethereum blue, Cardano red. I'm looking at this because we are seeing Cardano catch up to the Ethereum searches and Cardano is in new all-time high territories for the last 12 months worldwide. Ethereum is still just below its all-time high, but Cardano, of course, on the surge. And out of all the countries in the world that are searching for Cardano, Italy has the highest search vol has a higher search volume for Cardano than Ethereum. So, buonasera, buongiorno to my Italian viewers. Let me know if you are watching down below. All right, Cardano looking good. Let's have a quick look. Coin market cap, uh, 1.5 trillion. Bitcoin, of course, our 927 billion. We're going to hit that trillion dollar again soon. We can all feel it. Cardano, 40 billion, 500 million. Looking good and still just ahead of Binance, which has had a huge surge today, 22% up. Uh, Polkadot, hot on its heels, but just falling back a little. So we've looked at Cardano. There's the tweet. I don't have an official... Uh, anything to say that the Cardano net is live except for a Reddit post that I found that only had a couple of comments on it. So I'm, I'm not going to go and use that. But we all know it's going to happen at some point, if not already by the time you have seen this. Cardano becomes a multi-asset blockchain with today's hard fork. So it, nothing has confirmed it, but it's just saying that this is what is happening today. Mary Hard Fork, if you want to know more about that, this is a fantastic Q&A page to have a look at. It's just the Cardano uh, website here, forum.cardano.org. It's the FAQ, all the stuff you need to know. What is a hard fork? When will the merry hard fork take place? This will take place at 9, call it 45, 9.45 p.m. UTC on 1st of March. So it's probably just a few hours from now. UTC is around London, should have taken place. All right, do I need to do anything to prepare for the hard fork? Are there any deadlines? What is, uh, why is a hard fork required? All interesting stuff. Uh, looking at this one, do I need to do anything to prepare for the hard fork? No, but you're gonna to have to have a look at this other page here, iohk.zendesk.com, uh, to have a look at the exchanges which have integrated the update already. So check this one out because you'll be able to see which exchanges you can use to trade Cardano on, just in case the price begins to dump. Now I know you probably don't wanna hear that, but we're gonna have a look at the chart as well in just a moment. Main one that people trade on is Binance, Mary integration in progress. So hopefully they hurry up with that. And the other ones you can trade on, Bitmax, Bitfinex, probably not in the US or uh, New York. Bitrue, Bitrex is a, is a good one to use there. And that's about it. Coinex, you don't wanna be using eToro. Kraken, Qcoin. All right, so you've got a fair, a fair few options which are Mary ready. So if you're not sure, check that out, iohk.zendesk. Let's have a look at the price. And this is what I'm looking at here, just on a short term time frame. You know, we always look at the longer term stuff, the weekly and at very close, you know, the, the daily. Four hour, we don't really go down to too much, but I'm concerned with this low here. Probably don't want to see that one break, which is around $1.15, currently at $1.21. So we've seen a lot of swings up. We saw very, very high volume. Is that the highest volume in its history? Almost, apart from back here in January of uh, this year in January when we just took off. But this is extremely high volume and it's been the bar that has called the top so far. So extreme high volume on a high and the market has reversed isn't a good sign. It's it's a first sign of a reversal. But remember, we're only on a four hour time frame, so even then it's all good. And I know a lot of you will just hold regardless, even if this thing dumps to 70 or 60 cents. I'm not saying it will, but I know many of you will just hold irrespective of what the price does. So let's keep an eye on this long term as well. Cardano USD, uh, we wanna hold it above 115. So I'm gonna throw an alert down here. If you wanna do the same, you can get tradingview.com in the description down below, set your alerts 
and away you go. So you can be notified when the price starts to move. Obviously you can use Blockfolio and other apps, but I like the TradingView app because I can use it to actually look at charts and trade with them. ADA USD. While we're here, let's have a look at ADA BTC, which has already started to break down, which is, we've talked about this on the channel. You know, people are buying into the rumor, into the news, and then selling it once it happens. You sell the news, buy the rumor, sell the news. And that looks like it is exactly what has happened so far. And that happened on the 20, the top was the 27th of Feb at 6 p.m. And then we had a first lower swing top. You can see the market fell, tried to recover into early hours of the first, March 1st morning, and it didn't make it and we've fallen away, broken these support levels. So that's why I think this is probably gonna continue down a little further. But remember, do your own research. Don't just copy what someone is saying on the channel because I have a, I understand where I could get back in if this doesn't work out. If we happen to fall to another support level, I understand where I could enter again. But if you don't have that experience, then maybe holding is the best thing for you. Again, not financial advice. You just need to do what's right for you. ADA, ETH, also another one that's begun to break down. So Cardano is now failing against Ethereum. ADA DOT, also heavily failing against Polkadot. Our last one, ADA on Binance has also just broken down. Huge volume on the on the breakout uh, back yesterday morning or yesterday evening actually. Saw that little double top, first lower swing top. It's a very that's a very weak signal where the market has tried to rally again but couldn't make it there and failed, which means that there's not enough buying going on. That's what that whole signal means. We had a lot of buying coming up to it. We've had a cool off. All right, let's see if we can go again. Let's charge. And the charge failed. It failed to meet the top and even exceed it and close above it. So it's fail, fail, fail. Huge. Oh, this one, we crashed down and then we had the huge volume uh, just taking out these lows. So that confirms the downtrend move against Binance. So Binance is going on a bit of a run. Let's have a look at Cardano on the Bitcoin chart on a daily chart. So these three days, their lows have been taken out. That's not a good sign, but we don't have a reversal just yet. Maybe we'll get some support here at around uh, 2,100 sats. Yeah, between 2,000 and hopefully around that 2,200 sats. So that would be a nice little area uh, to see hold and then begin to move again. But we don't want to see it continue to break down and just fall. All these extra yellow lines on the screen is what we we're talking about as good um, support resistance levels as accumulation zones. So we're gonna take those off the chart for now and just focus on our yellow lines. So yeah, it looks like we'll probably come back down to this area here of the 2000 at least. On the daily chart, ADA ETH probably looks like somewhere around 66 or 65. That looks like the next support levels down here, 60 to 65 thousand guay and yeah we've just broken down again one two three days ADA USD on the daily it's the only thing that's holding us up here so if you're only concerned with your US dollar value then you're probably not noticing too much you've seen six percent drop ADA dot uh, one two three days down this is our fourth so we've broken through three days uh, of their lows and we are now heading down again on polka dot but we've seen this pattern play out time and time again these swings are getting much bigger with polka dot versus cardano and this is only natural it's only a healthy sign to see some corrections so this could just be a correction let's hope we don't see this low taken out keep an eye on those charts ada versus binance bnb ada versus bitcoin ada versus ethereum ada versus us dollar ADA versus Polkadot. Reason being is we want to see Cardano increase in value against all of these tokens. Otherwise, better off holding the other token for gains. Now, we've got to think about those in terms of time frames. Is it short term, long term? Up to you wherever your investment strategies are. And if you're interested in understanding more about an exit strategy and plans like that, stay around till the end of the video. There'll be links up here to click once the video is finished and you'll see uh, exit strategies or wallets, something like that. So there's always something good there that I, I leave up so that you guys can click on those and continue watching those educational videos. But in terms of Cardano, I think we're probably gonna see a bit of a sell-off after this news and that's precisely what we've seen, precisely what we talked about last week, just to not get caught too much in the FOMO leading up to the hard fork. And yes, the last couple of days we've seen a sell-off against all the altcoins and, and Bitcoin and the US dollar is just 
continuing to hold its ground for now. Where do I see it going from here? We've got to wait and see if we get any sort of breaks, but if we do get a breakdown, then probably around that 90 to a dollar level as our first downside target. Don't worry. Hopefully you've got your plan, you're following that. And if we get cheaper prices, get out there, do what you need to, whether you're dollar cost averaging, whether you're just dumping a whole lot of money into the market, do what you need to do, but set yourself up a plan so that you're not fearing what is coming next. Now, if you wanted to trade ADA, of course, there is SwiftX. I've got a link to that down below for the Aussies. And if you want to trade it overseas, Binance. There's also a link to that exchange down below. SwiftX, Binance. I'll leave it there. That was a Cardano update. I hope you enjoyed that video. I've got more coming up. We were looking at IOTA and Tezos in previous videos as Cardano killers or Ethereum killers. Yes, it's just titles. Don't worry about that. We're looking at good setup. So I'm going to make some videos on those tomorrow, something like a 10x or a 20x sort of video because they are looking like they could be setting up in a good position for a bigger gain once we swing into uh, another altcoin season. So uh, stick around for that. Subscribe, like the video. Hopefully we get it to 2,000 likes. And I'll see you guys on Instagram for Q&A and looking at uh, retirement fund portfolio updates. Last thing I'll leave you with, Investor Accelerator down below, 15% off if you sign up for the newsletter. Talk about swing trading for long-term investing. So check that out down below. I'll see you guys at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.